rough day in Toy Town, that one. Oh, I don't care how many dogs attacked me. <laughs> I've got here. Oh. I'm surprised how strong I feel. Uh, this worries me a little bit. That, you know, this has a risk that I overpace and then hurt myself. But be aware of this, hopefully I'm wise enough not to do so. But, you know, in my point of view, I already have won because I never before in my life went so far as in this race so far. So I can't lose anymore. And that's a good feeling. It's been snowing. Yeah. Where I've been, it's been snowing for the last, last 26 hours. to McCabe the other day and uh, I've been quite tired of sort of being in this first place. I'd, I'd injured my leg, I had shin splints and I was literally hobbling around, crawling at some point. And I got to McCabe and found out there was no winner's trophy. And a bit of time to chill out, enjoy Dale's company, uh, enjoy this lovely surroundings and uh, enjoy the Yukon experience. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Very well done. Yeah. Thank you. Great race. See you. Thank you. Cheers. Bye. Deep snow that's pissing me off. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Now, in the morning, it looks like easy walk on the road. And in two hours, it's just pushing through this fresh snow. It's good. It's just powder. Yeah. It'll be perfect for the country skiing. I think I found out what I came here for. Oh yeah? Today. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> My limit. Yeah. Mm. Can you tell yeah. us a story maybe? Okay. I'm not a guy who gets scared, and I swear I'm not scared of that. It was a beautiful animal, and I, I love them, you know? They're absolutely beautiful, but they have been following me for two days now, and it really doesn't bother me. They've been on me. I haven't had a single hot meal on the trail today because I didn't want them to smell my food, mm -hmm. and I'm okay with that. And, and the, uh, the, the wolf that has been following me around, he, he, I mean, he looks great, he's beautiful, and I'm happy with that, but as soon as those two wolves were waiting for me on that beach after the first lake crossing, one took off, you can tell, the animal looked at me and he meant business, and the second one went into the bush, and when 
he came back on the trail and walked towards me, towards my bag. I literally just picked up my sticks and I, you know, I held them up and tried, like, uh, instinct, I don't know what it was. And as soon as the, the, the animal was gone, it hit me, you know, what just happened. And you think that kind of stuff just happens in movies and TV stuff, you know. And, uh, yeah, I was talking to you at the starting line about my limits. Yeah. And the things I look for in, in, in these, um, these, these events. And I, I've, I've always thought, I, I want to know what my limit is, you know, it's not physical, it's not mental, I can do this all day, I love here, this is home for me, you know, I can, I don't have problems with the cold, with the, the stress, whatever it is, the physical challenge, but today I found, I just found what my limit is, you know, and I'm happy with that, so it gave me more than what I could, than what I came here for, I guess. Physically, this, this race really has has pushed me, you know. Um, although I didn't cover the whole distance, I, all you need is a day here for that challenge to, to kick in. Emotionally, yesterday has got me right to that space, right to my limit. And, and that's when I decided that it just wasn't worth it, you know. So I was, emotionally, it really showed me something that I have never felt before. For the very first time in my life, I felt that something could take away from me the things I loved the most, which is my family. And I thought, Jay, if that wolf, instead of turning left or jumping to the left of the bush, had jumped on me and God knows what would have happened. Or, yeah, you, just, you just can't help but think that, you know. Yeah, I would have never forgiven myself, you know, for, for letting, for putting my, my family and loved ones you know, in that place.